So what's the latest, my friend? Humans are destroying the planet and we're in the middle of a sixth mass extinction. You? I'm great. Humans have changed this planet like no other species. The changes are, in some cases, so enormous they can be seen from space. Humans have transformed the Earth. The most pressing issue that is directly contributable to human activity is climate change. Since the Industrial Revolution, humans have been releasing incredible amounts of carbon into the atmosphere. By burning fossil fuels, carbon dioxide and methane are released, creating a heat blanket around the Earth. We've known about the dangers of climate change for decades. Scientists have warned us repeatedly as polar ice caps melt, the oceans rise, storms get stronger, drought is more widespread, hurricanes do more damage, and of course, heat waves. But humanity largely ignores those warnings and continues to pillage the environment and plunder the natural resources as if they were in infinite supply. Let's look at the human dynamics that got us here and whether we will survive. Did you hear the news? Climate change is out of control. Nah, it's just a hoax. A way for scientists to make money. Good evening. The world has never been spoken to quite this way. We've never been warned like this before, all of us, about climate change. Tonight, the U.N. has a stark warning. If there is any hope of combating climate change, the world needs to change the way it eats. Now to a dire warning about climate change. According to a new report, experts say that we have until 2030 to avoid catastrophe. An urgent warning tonight from some of the world's top scientists. They say we still have a chance to limit the effects of climate change and save countless lives, but only if much more is done immediately to slow the Earth's warming. Science has delivered its latest verdict on the dangers of climate change, and it's all bad. In the words of one Greenpeace activist, time is running out and leaders need to, quote, act now, idiots. It is the most extensive warning yet on the risks of rising global temperatures. Today, a new United Nations report raised the threat of climate change to a whole new level. Two main issues are contributing to the current mass extinction event. The first is greed. When mankind learned of the potential energy benefits of burning fossil fuels, it changed the world. Technological advances happened very quickly. Inventions were created to make life easier and more convenient. Humanity greatly benefited from these advancements, as did the income of a select few. By capitalizing on the fossil fuel industry economically, a handful of people became very rich, and part of their profits were spent in a way that helped them to stay rich and get richer. How much do you make a year? About a million five. How much do your employees make? Minimum wage. Oh, unless they're undocumented, I pay them six dollars. A day. Greed played, and continues to play, a major role in ongoing climate change. Fossil fuel tycoons took action to downplay the importance of so much CO2 being released into the atmosphere. They funded a propaganda campaign, financed politicians and lobbyists, and successfully coerced the public to be skeptical of what scientists were saying. These efforts were done so that they could continue to pull fossil fuels from the earth and make huge amounts of money selling it. They traded huge profits for themselves for the future of humanity. The second issue of the mass extinction that's taking place is overpopulation. As of 2019, it is estimated that there are 7.5 billion human beings inhabiting the Earth. That is an immense number. With so many people, it becomes virtually impossible to implement sweeping changes. The process of reinventing the global economy to be based on renewable energy is a daunting task with so many people. How many kids do you have? Only four, but 26 grandkids. You? None yet. Saving humanity from the extinction level events of climate change is most likely not possible. But taking action now would at least buy humans time. The problem is the need to restructure everything, which is a monumental task that corporations and the elite see as a loss in revenue. 
The needs of the few somehow have been outweighing the needs of the many. And most of the 7.5 billion humans are in that group of the many. If there is supposedly power in numbers, the many have immense numbers. Just how immense is 7.5 billion? Let's let these squares represent people. So here we have a bunch of people. They're a little bit disorganized, so we'll get them all organized into a nice square of 10 by 10 people. 100 total people. We're going to add to that more groups of 100. Now we have 900 people. Here come additional groups of 900 people. Now we are up to 14,400 people. Let's call it 15,000. If we add groups of 15,000 to this group of 15,000, now we're up to 230,000 people. A bunch of groups of 230,000 people, we are now up to 5.7 million people in that square. We're going to add lots of people to that 5.7 million. And that will expand it to 115 million. That's what this plus represents. Eight of these total pluses gets us a little over a billion. So let me get this straight. Earth is suffering because of us humans, but you're doing fine. And you think climate change is a hoax. And you keep as much of your company's profit as possible, paying your employees as little as possible. All the while, your family is adding more people to this planet at an unsustainable rate. And you couldn't care less for the limited resources you're pillaging for your business, or the waste and pollution you dump into the environment. What exactly? Does your company produce? Roundup pesticide, nanoparticulates for chemtrail ge geoengineering, palm oil for a variety of products, toxic ingredients for Monsanto GMOs, addictive additives for junk food, and for medications, coal burning devices, vaccines, bottled water, and plastic packaging materials. You? I make bracelets out of hemp. Climate change is quickly getting out of hand. Greedy executives are working to prevent humanity from fixing it. An overpopulated planet is depleting natural resources and making CO2 reductions all but impossible. Viable crops to feed the masses are becoming more difficult to grow. Capitalists, among others, continue to rape the landscape of resources. Too many people result in a difficulty implementing large-scale changes that are needed. Ice caps are melting and the oceans will continue to rise, creating coastline refugees. Bigger storms, floods, heat waves, hurricanes, and wildfires will kill millions and devastate the global economy. Migrations of millions fleeing difficult climate conditions will create instability and war. The elitists will handcuff the masses, making it impossible to adjust to the upcoming catastrophes, meaning millions more deaths. The overpopulation problem will begin to solve itself as the sixth mass extinction begins taking untold numbers of humans with it. The solution is clear. Mother Nature gets the last at bat and is going to knock humanity out of the park. You are a big reason humanity is on the brink of extinction. Do you have a conscience at all? Why should I care? I'll be dead before it affects me. I just want to get rich and enjoy my life. It doesn't bother you? That your efforts to get rich come at the expense of others? At the expense of who? The poor? Immigrants? Minorities? No, it doesn't bother me. I'm entitled to my pursuit of the American dream. What about your 26 grandchildren? Well... I don't believe in heaven or hell. If they do exist, it's clear which one you're going to. In lieu of that, I'm going to sit here in judgment of you. You are going to judge me? Yes and I find you guilty of multiple counts of crimes against humanity. I sentence you to a slow and painful death, which you deserve. That's funny. 
You can take your tree-hugging hippie bullshit somewhere. Hey, hey, whoa there. Hang on, put that down. This is on behalf of all the people you've stepped on in getting to the top, and all the people you've made sick or killed with your business, and all the people in the future who will suffer because of your indifference to the negative effects you're having on the only place humanity knows will support it. This is on behalf of Earth. You have... you have no... Ah!